Howdy friends and welcome to The Average J. It is Tuesday and we are doing Tuesday Tag on Tuesday. Yay. <laughs> um, Joan over at Joan's Point of Plate tagged us and she was kind enough to send us the uh, questions today so that we could get these done on a Tuesday. Thank you, Joni. I really do appreciate that. Yeah. So, uh, the questions, I, I don't really see a theme, no. to be honest with well, you. They're I, random. They, they are kind of random, random questions, which is good. By the way, Michelle is getting ready to go to the pool. <laughs> she's getting ready to go to the swim club, and she said, okay, I'll, I'll do this before I go. So, <laughs> she's all ready, bathing suit on and ready to go. Um, she was out working hard this morning. She actually <laughs> went and this was today's haul of cherry tomatoes. <laughs> so I don't know what we're going to do with all those. I know she made a salad and put like five. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't do anything for the other 300 that are sitting there. But give them away. I'll do something with them. Mm -hmm. And I have probably 20 tomatoes sitting out on the air conditioner just yeah, ripening it up. Ripening it up. There's too many. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get started with the Tuesday tag. Number one, what is the first app you check on your phone? I would have to say Facebook. All right, yeah. she's a Facebooker. You yep. do, you do look at Facebook a lot. And then YouTube second. YouTube second. <laughs> um, I look at YouTube first. Um, always like to see what you know the people I subscribe to are up to. Those subscriptions are important. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, Always look to see notifications or, you know, what good videos are going up. Um, I usually don't look at Facebook until, like, later on. I'm not on Instagram. Mm -mm. I'm not on Twitter. I have Snapchat, but... Yeah, nobody ever says no. anything. And, yeah. and, they, and I get frustrated with it, too. You look at it for three seconds, then, <laughs> then it's, it's gone. gone. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, all the videos or pictures of, yeah. like, our grandson, our... our Girls are real big on Snapchat, and they said, well, it's just easier that way. And I'm like, uh, okay, option one, Snapchat. Option two, just hit the camera and take the video <laughs> and then send it to me. But in all fairness, Steffi did send a bunch this morning. They were blurry. A, a few of them. They were all blurry. I couldn't <laughs> a see. Few. Anyway, Stephanie, if you watch this video, send non-blurry pictures, please. Oh, well, I appreciate the ones you sent. So. Yeah. <laughs> Number two, <laughs> what year did you get your first car? What kind was it? And what year was the car? So not how old were you when you got your car? What okay. year did you get your first car? I'll say 1987. Okay. I'm 17. <laughs> okay. I had my license. license. Um, and it was a 1983 Ford Mustang hatchback. Mm -hmm. So, light but, blue. I remember that car. Yeah, yeah, it was a good car. It was, no air conditioning, though. It had yeah. no air conditioning. It had a moonroof, and it's a funny story because it was for sale in town. It was a little old lady in Michigan, <laughs> which is true, and her, her son drove it out here. But it only had like thirty thousand miles on it. Right. It was only like thirty five hundred dollars. Okay. Which I guess back in the eighties, that was kind of a lot. But, yeah. <laughs> but it was a good car. Um, in 1988, I got my first car, which was a Honda Accord. I think I want to say it was an 83. Mm -hmm. Okay, 83 is good 83, year. 84. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, maroon Honda Accord. And um, what was the question? What uh, year did you get it? What year did you get it? What kind of? What year? Oh, I guess okay. I covered all that. Yeah. So. But... We had our first date in that car. Though. Yes. You picked me up in that. I picked her up in that car. 1993. Yep. <laughs> and when I went away to basic training in 1993, uh, I sold it. Yep. So we didn't have it in any of our <laughs> married life. But mm -hmm. um, one of the four, it was only a four cylinder, but one of the four cylinders went. And it was going to be really expensive to fix it. Mm -hmm. So it just wasn't worth it at that point. Uh, number three, what was your favorite job? Oh wow. Okay. I didn't have very I don't have very many to pick from, but um I think I I liked uh, Teledyne. It was hot warehouse work, but I had a group of ladies. They were all older ladies and we just 
We had a good time. <laughs> well, one thing Michelle's not saying is, at Teledyne Packaging, they made like plastic packaging, toothpaste tubes mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And one of the things they made was toothpaste tubes for AFES, Army and Air Force Exchange Services. Yeah. So she actually knew about things for AFES before I did being in the military. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was kind of neat. Toprol, I forget, with some kind of whitening toothpaste. We used Rembrandt, a lot of stuff, and yeah. little caps to go with it. it and then <laughs> Artie is over here eating his ball, ball. from his grandfather. So, <laughs> oh, I just went under the gate. Yeah, good oh, luck. he's gonna bark. He might bark. If he barks, <laughs> I'll get it. Um, my favorite job was being a lifeguard down at Bayberry Cove. I believe that. You know? I'm jealous. Yeah, I mean, the lifeguarding at the hotel was okay but it was, that was really kind of boring yeah. no, nobody ever went to the pool whoa <laughs> hold on you. i'll be right back <laughs> uh, go play with your ball somewhere else already loves this ball yeah we can't find it anywhere <laughs> <laughs> all right go play with it so um the Holiday Inn was just boring. At Bayberry mm -hmm. Cove, at least, there were people. Yeah. You were the only lifeguard at the Holiday Inn, but we had like like three or four lifeguards on duty every day down at Bayberry. Mm -hmm. So that was nice. <laughs> All right. Yeah, instead of um, Baywatch, it was J-Watch. Uh, if you had to wear one piece of clothing, not underwear, forever, what would it be? See, this is confusing. Like, when it says one piece of clothing, does it mean a specific type of clothing or, like, one article of clothing? Like, I would say my gray Mickey Mouse shirt. I don't okay. know. All right. Well, all right. So, all right. I would say, if, if we're just talking in general, I like what I always call comfy shorts. Michelle mm -hmm. and I call them comfy <laughs> shorts, which would be any material shorts but nothing that has like a buckle or a snap or a zipper it's just pull them up in the elastic waistband mm -hmm. you know that would be yeah my, my um in general mm -hmm. uh, favorite type if we're talking type but if i had one specific item mm -hmm. that i have to say that i like um it's going to be my it, it's a black Mickey Mouse polo shirt with like a little white Mickey oh, on yeah, it, you yeah, know. Yeah. So Go golf shirt. It's a golf it. shirt. It's like a golf, or golf shirt. shirt. That's what I call but it. But that's like my favorite <laughs> individual piece of clothing. I'm gonna be very sad when that thing wears out from the wash yeah. and I won't be able to wear it anymore. Oh <laughs> I'm crap! To take care of it. Oh, you know what video I'm wearing that in? Look at my look at my how to fix a dehumidifier video. You'll see I'm wearing link that it. one. I'll link it down below. Yeah. Watch that one, and uh, I'm wearing that shirt in that one. Okay. Okay. All right. So. That's my specific and my general. Okay, so so I would say shorts because this way I know it's warm weather and <laughs> I can wear them. Yes. I do like sweatpants because they're comfy, but I'll take shorts. And I, you know, some people would be surprised I don't live in my bathing suit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but no shorts. This way I know it's warm. I don't think I have a specific article of clothing okay. that I like the best. All right, <laughs> comfy stuff. Comfy stuff. Just mm -hmm. anything comfy. Yeah. That works. Yep. Uh, number five. Do you eat lunch every day? Yes. <laughs> Michelle's big on, mm -hmm. you know, going with the three meals. Small as they may be, yeah. she does eat her three meals. So, um, me, I'm a snacker. <laughs> so, I'll eat breakfast most mornings, but then I'll have, like, you know, snack, 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 and we'll be good. Then dinner. Yum. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, number six. Do you have a lot of acquaintances or a few close friends? Uh, I'll say acquaintances. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're my best friend. Yo, you're my best friend too. <laughs> so. Do you have any friends? Do you have a best friend? Does he have a big coat too? Go away! Uh, so we say it all the time. You know, Michelle and I have each mm -hmm. other. We're our closest best friends. Um, you know, and we have friends, but I mean, do we have people that we talk to and, and go over, you know, weekly or something. No, mm -hmm. you know, I'd say it's more acquaintances, good acquaintances, but yeah. I, I wouldn't say, you know, like that you would say the close to your friends that, you know, we've, you know, hung out with for 30 years. Yeah, no. So, I mean, we still know people from 30 right, years right. ago, but we don't hang out. No. Yeah, mm -hmm. so. 
Uh, number seven. If calories didn't matter, would you rather eat home cooked meals or take out? <laughs> I'm gonna go take out because I suck at cooking. <laughs> and I'm gonna so say, I'm gonna say home cooked because calories don't matter to me. Regardless, I, I don't watch calories whether it's yeah. takeout or homemade anyway, so yeah. I love home cooked meals. I love cooking, so um, that's I'm so glad for that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's making the pork chops for dinner. Yeah, so. tonight I'm making <laughs> pork chops and basmati rice and mixed vegetables. Although it was a tag team effort today, we made banana bread. We made it together. Yeah. I was the uh, pantry gopher In ingredient, and, and I went and got everything and measured it out and put it next to Michelle. And Michelle mixed everything mixed it together and, and it. <laughs> marked it and. Pat it, it and mark, mark it with the B. No, put no. it in the oven for a baby in me. That's a banana bread or a pie? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's the way it goes. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. So that would be a cake, not a banana, banana bread. bread. Well, Bake me a cake. Who marks a cake with a B? I can see a pattern in a pie. Oh, gee, um, it's a nursery rhyme. Reading too much into it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, number eight, would you rather live in 1968 or 2068, and what age would you want to be? Artie, why are you wanting your balls right there? <laughs> you got it. I got it right. Sorry. Me first? Me first, boss. Or Go you ahead. first. Okay, I'll, I'll say 1968. Same. <laughs> I was born in 1969, but I think I'd like to be in 68 at age, say, anywhere between... 25 and 30 I think okay well I would say the same yeah, thing 1968 but I would want to be like low to mid 30s 30 to 35 it's in his water oh, dish <laughs> he put it in his water bowl I had to take it out of the water bowl for him so uh, I would like to be 30 to 35 oh wow all right um, this one, M&M's, plain or peanut? Oh, peanut. Peanut. That wasn't even a hard one for us. So, you know, <laughs> okay. Peanut all the way. I like plain. I don't like all those weird ones. Though, like pretzel and all this. No. But peanut, yeah. yeah. Plain or good, but. Plain or okay. I'll, I'll I will pick the peanut over the plain if they're in front If they're of both me. in front of you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And number 10, I read this one. I'm not sure. I think maybe one of the words is a little off. It says, would you rather time travel or have travel deportation? I mean, <laughs> that, that's how it is it's a, it's printed a typo. on the thing. It's I think a, it's a typo. I'm sure it means uh, travel teleportation. Spell check. Spell check. So <laughs> I, I think it's supposed to be teleportation because I'm not going to be deported. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a citizen. I got my papers. I got my vaccine card. I won't be deported for no, that either. No. Um, but would you rather time travel or have, we'll say, teleportation? So I'm going to say mine first. Okay. I'd rather time travel. And uh, teleportation, to me, sometimes getting there is half the fun. You know, I like taking the road yeah. trips, you know, so... Um, is it convenient all the time? No. Sometimes you don't have the time. Like, I'd like to drive down to Texas to see my grandson, but I, I can't. I don't have the time. Teleportation would be great in that. But I would rather time travel. I can time travel to the future, see the next five Super Bowl winners, bet on them, <laughs> see who the big stocks are going to be, uh, put money in that, and I'd be rich. And then I can uh, get all the flights and quick transportation I want. We'll go back in the past and like when Michelle says, do you remember when you said that? And I say, I did not say that. And she says, yes, you did. I can go back in the past and go, see, I didn't say that. Prove it to me. Prove it to me. Well, now time travel, I'd be able to. All right. How about you? Uh, we've talked about this a little bit. And, you know, you made up a good point about the road trip aspect of it. And I, I, I do like that with you. That is fun. But... At this present moment, with the kids being in Texas, I would pick teleportation. Yeah, I so know. I can be there. I can be. We can be in Disney in a heartbeat. You know. Yeah. I don't know. Just I think teleportation. <laughs> I can be in Shades of Green. Yeah. It's my commercial. <laughs> no, they do not sponsor this. I just like staying at Shades of Green. By the way, I did a video on Shades of Green. Yeah. I'll link that down below too. <laughs> If you get a chance, watch several of them. Yeah. But, <laughs> anywho, that does our Tuesday tag on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Woo <laughs> and 
it is time for Michelle to get to the pool. Um, I was using my work lunchtime as the opportunity to film this. Yeah. When I get done work, I'll go ahead and I'll start doing the editing, get it up this evening. So by the time anybody watches this, it'll be evening. So I'll say, have a great night. Like and subscribe. Yeah. And um, the notification bell. <laughs> hit the notification bell. Go eat a nice home cooked meal. Don't do takeout tonight. Uh. <laughs> Bye.